Welcome to the Unity Datablocks introduction video. Datablocks are a new and powerful way to store your game's data. Using a chain of parents and children, you can build up your data in a hierarchical manner, rather than manually having to define every one of its properties. By building your data with these relationships, you can change a value in a parent so all its children are instantly updated with a new value. This will allow you to create data for your game more easily and make prototyping even faster. Data blocks are built using standard Unity objects that unlock the full power of the inspector, including drag and drop. To illustrate their power, I'm going to show you how to create a new type of data block and create some sample data blocks from it. To start, create a new script in your project named spell data block. Edit the script and change its parent to data block. All data block classes will inherit from this class. Adding fields is done just like any other Unity script. Let's add a few fields. This is an integer field that stores the mana cost. This is a string field that will store the description. And that's it. Our data block is defined. Now let's add some spell data blocks. Open up the data block list window. Click Create New and select the new spell data block we just created. You can choose to save it anywhere in your project. With our new spell data block selected, rename it to Base Spell. We'll use this data block as the parent of all future spells. Make sure you set the mana cost to 10, just so we have a value in there. Now let's create a child spell. Click Create Child and rename this data block to Base Fire Spell. You'll notice the mana cost is also 10. That's because it's getting its value from its parent. If we want to switch that value so it has its own value, simply change the mana cost on this data block and it'll override its parent. Notice the checkbox next to the field is now checked. This indicates the field is now using its own value instead of its parents. Now let's create another child. We'll name this one Fireball. The fireball spell is getting all its values from its parent right now. So if we go back to the base fire spell data block and change its description, you'll notice it's been updated in the fireball spell. However, let's override the fireball's description with something more specific for this spell. We now have a data block ready for use. Let's create a simple script to illustrate how you might use a data block in your game. First, Create a new script called Spellcaster. In the script, create a public field for a spell data block. This will let you assign a spell data block right through the inspector. In the start function, add a debug log message to show the spell's name and description. Create a new game object. Assign our caster script to it. And run the project. You'll notice the data blocks values printed to the console. If we edit the base fire spell data block and change its mana cost value to 20, You'll notice the fireball now also outputs its mana cost to 20. So that's it for this video. For more information, please visit unitydatablocks.com.